What would your parents do? They pay 75 grand to get Doug back? Doug who? Hello. They don't pay me enough for this. I understand how he might be upset about it. Hi. I'm Doug Pennell. I'm so depressed. Won't you take me to bed and cheer me up? Loan you, you some money. You owe me. <laughs> you don't understand. <sighs> I can't imagine. This ain't fish. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I just wanted you to know I was thinking about you. I was thinking about your new car. And I was thinking about Ozzy's old job. And I was wondering if all this doesn't fit together somehow. I'm a good janitor. You know what's great? You don't look like a cop. That's because I'm not a cop. Excuse me, can I get my friend another drink, please? <laughs> Tell me about it. It's Officer Tommy. Whatever you say. Really? Can you put it there? I'm a killer. Take a look at this, handsome. Maka, maka, haka, laka. Yeah! On your homework or the case? <laughs> go, 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 go. You don't shack up with someone's mom. Saw you on the show, Captain. I think you do. Somebody said you were kind of cute. It's a rumor. Come on, Patrick. Easy, drop the gun. OK, OK, I'm here. I'm just a little worried, OK? Well, don't be. You're with me. Oh, I forgot. The Fonz. Fighting. A-W-O-L, disrespect to superior officers. It was a confusing time in my life, sir. It was last month. Uh-oh. Check this doof out. My old school, we take a guy like that, hold him down, cut his hair off with a hunting knife. <laughs> Looks more like queen of the mountain to me. Can have a shot, coach? All right, all right. How about a little kiss first? <laughs> okay, you puck her up. Listen, most of the guys I met around here wouldn't know a good time if they walked in on it. You any different? No, sounds good. Where are we going? Tell me something. Is this the search or the destroy part of the evening, fellas? Sounds to me like this guy's part of a search and destroy maneuver. Besides, it's hopping after curfew. Well, don't tell me, man. Tell the cops. Because after last night's hooting, they're going to be crawling all over this place. Hey. What do I know? I was on a plane from Tulsa when all this went down. But if you boys had something to do with it, I believe I'd be getting my story straight. I'm uh, Tommy Littlefield. This is Doug Simon. Renick. How's he look up close? Nobody really has cheekbones like that. Let me ask you a question. What's the big deal about signing an autograph or two? I'll let you do anything you want to me. Very funny, Jody. Witching to boys. That'll make a good story. Uh, Jody Kleiman, this is Littlefield and somebody. Pass. Oh, you can't pass, Jeremy. It's for a very good... Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. We won't be needing you anymore this evening. You guys want to hang around and watch some of the shooting? We'd love to. Yeah, that'd be cool. I want to play a good guy, though. You know, and get the girl and all. You're ever in L.A. Excuse me, guys, I have to go phone the airline. Well, I, I just don't think it's right for me. I had a little extra time this morning. Achoo! That's my boy. That's the uh, Quest of 19 on the big... Do you sell rolling machines? But place of my own across the street. You gonna sell those, too? Yeah, but don't you hate it when somebody else has to point it out to you? Not this time. Get over here. <laughs> Get over here.
don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. Speaking of which, are you coming with or not? Club Paradise, $800, and all the single women you can meet. I got the in-laws coming. You're as good as back. Give me the 10 bucks you owe me. Knock it off! Oh, very effective. <laughs> good. You're up. I gotta be nuts, man. What am I doing here? Whoa! I wasn't used to the clutch. Sure. I wasn't! <laughs> Had a convertible, the top wouldn't go up, and the movie was Torah, Torah, Torah. Why'd you do that? What do you want to do, eh? I don't know much of a dancer. How'd you learn how to do that? Dancing school. Excuse me. Mr. Rafferty, I'm so thirsty. Ah! Hi. Tina, you gotta learn to curb your feelings. Why? Because. How am I supposed to feel after eight hours in these things? Four hours is the longest a minor's supposed to be held in restraints. Sit up, Bill. I mean, it's us, man. Come on. Come on, swing your legs out. Come on, we're gonna get you home, Bill. Take it easy. Take it easy. Easy. Are you all right? Uh, look. You okay? Just give me a minute. I like burnt hot dogs and sauerkraut. Let's go get some burnt hot dogs and sauerkraut. You sure? I'm sure. You know, you're very even-tempered. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a person who finds consolation in tears. I mean, if crime made me feel better, I'd do it. But don't do this to me, Captain. You know something. You gotta tell me. Please, I need... Betray me and things will never be the same between us. I won't. Please. I gotta know. Oh, Daryl. Who the hell are you? I'm the cop who wants to know about the shooter. And I'm not gonna ask as nicely as the DA. I'll pull the trigger on you, I swear. Where does he live? I don't know. Come on. I don't know. Where is he? Dockside and third. You really a cop? I used to be. Ladies and gents, everybody just relax. The McQuaid brothers will guide you safely and soundly to your destination. <laughs> hey, nice hat. Nice shirt. Tommy! You know, you two are beginning to get on my nerves. <laughs> For a Porsche that's worth uh, 30 grand, so that's... That's uh, it's, uh, $12,000. Right, and 10% of $12,000 is... It's uh, $1,200. 
Very good. I give you an A. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello! You whistled? Go away. Has everyone been tipped off about the CDs? Do you believe in God, Adam and Eve, and all that stuff? Most of the time. Right position by grasping. <laughs> Hi. I was all alone in the bathroom. Oh, I don't want to hear this. No, no, no. Just, just listen. I got another story. Go away. Please. Well, you want it? Keep it. Cindy, I'd like to, but, but I'm in training for a fight. And who are you going to fight? Satan. Let's be a cleaner to the even! What do we need so much backup for, anyhow? He's... drunk. Hammered. Pickled. To the gills. Well, maybe the next time I go to jail, you guys can go with me. Yeah, it's not funny. That's what's strange about it. I had this day when nothing was working. You know, it just completely sucked. Nice of you to come to work, Doug. That's the attitude around here, man. If you're not up to par, they just expel you. There's no room for slack-offs. Yo, Doc. Hey, Tommy. You, uh, got a minute for a friend? Absolutely. What is wrong with you? Hey, my mother killed herself when I was six! I've known about suicide every moment of every day since then. I never really brought this up before. I wanted to tell you. Hanson? Hey, coach. They're safe. So that ain't so bad. I drank a bottle of vanilla extract. That's kind of cute. I'm sorry. Well, what are you sorry for? I'm your friend. I should have seen your pain. You got to help me throw at these terrible meatballs. So I'll make this brief. It's all yours, Captain. <clears throat> Thank you, Hanson. Hey, you guys! Why don't you eat this? It uh, might help you. Why don't you take it easy, pal? I do what I want. I said get out of here. You're crazy. No. Where'd you get those shorts? Uh, I stole them out of an open locker. Wake up, I want to talk to you. What are you doing? You lied to me. What are you doing this for? Because it's my job! If you get him by mistake, hang up. You've done this before. You're a cop. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still want to light it? <laughs> Captain?